What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of First in 10. I have the NFC Defensive Player of the Week with me, Micah Parsons. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Who thank told you about that? Uh, I found out in a team meeting this morning. Yeah? Yes. Did you go crazy? Were you excited? Nah, I just kept it humble, just said, did a little double tap with the rest of the team. Yeah? Sounds good. So our show is super easy, quick. I'm just going to ask you 10 questions. We'll start with a little bit of football questions, but then really it's mostly to get fans to get to know you a little bit better. You're the rookie on our team, and I know fans want to know a ton about you. We know what you can do on the football field, but we know we want to know about your personality a little bit. So on Twitter, you actually said earlier in the season, stop asking about my football position. Now I just play football. So I'm not going to ask about your football position, okay. but I will ask you, you got some nicknames already. You have Young Bull, you have Young Lion, you have Terminator, Sachi. Which one of those is your favorite? Because we need to like hone in on one, one nickname. See, you missing one key one that I grew up with. I got the Water Boy. The Water Boy? Yeah, the Water Boy. Okay, Bobby how did Boucher. you get that one? Because you definitely ain't doing no Water Boy on this Cowboys scene. So the Water Boy, the movie, the one that starred Adam yeah. Sandler. Uh -huh. So as a kid, I was playing linebacker, just running around hitting people, and it was like, oh, that's the water boy right there. So they kind of got that Bobby Boucher nickname. Yeah. They convinced me to get a water boy chain just recently. So I'm about to get a water boy chain. Okay, so you have the Sachi chain, and now you're getting a water boy chain. Yes. So is that going to be the, the go-to one? Like, we got to pick one. Yeah, Which it's going to be a game day water boy. Game day water boy. Okay, okay. So I guess that's what we're settling on. Okay, that's a new one for me. Okay, all right, next one. Um, so this season you've actually been wearing the green dot on your helmet, which kind of indicates you're the play caller for the defense. Uh, this last week you did not have it on your helmet, um, but you actually had your best game so far, in my opinion. Do you think that not being like in charge of just letting everybody know the plays kind of just lets you kind of focus more on what you just personally have to do and reason why you had a great game? Yeah, of course, you know what I mean? Especially when there's tempo and there's, uh, you gotta get, make sure you get it to the DBs, mm -hmm. you gotta make sure you get it to the line, and you gotta get yourself and think about your job. So I mean, they just took a little bit off my plate and uh, I was able to play a little bit faster. And uh, I think as time goes on, I can probably get it back, but for right now, I'm just focused on what I do best, and that's just playing ball. Well, you had a great game. Congrats on that. Uh, you also said in your interview with Michael Irvin that he asked about the keys to the defense, and you kind of said, y'all are just a bunch of go-getters. Is that something you're kind of born with, or is it something that you can kind of create and build, and have you guys done that on this team? I say a little bit of both. Like, I think about it's like what you go through when you're younger. Uh, my mom and dad gave me two options. They said, you're either going to stay in Harrisburg or you're going to go get a scholarship because mm -hmm. we can't afford to pay for school. So yeah. I was like, I got to go get it on my own. So I played everything in the world, man. I played volleyball, basketball, wrestling. You I did played football. volleyball? Yes. You're literally like the jack of all trades. You Renaissance man over here. That could be another nickname, Renaissance man. I might have to <laughs> add that to my arsenal. Uh, but literally, like, I was just like, man, I got to be good. Baseball, I, I got to be uh -huh. anything with a ball. And I was like, I could figure it out. Do you think um, going, you joining the team, because the defense obviously was totally different defense than what we see this year. Obviously, we had changes in coaches and stuff like that. Do you think that your energy that you brought to the locker room, plus what the guys already had, kind of just amped it up to another level? Yeah, I think it's a combination of both. I kind of got that free spirit, uh, young lion uh, mentality and playfulness mm -hmm. and uh, joy I bring to the guys. Like they always say, you're always playing around. But, you know, I just kind of add that joy. Then you got to make sure with the vet guys and make sure we get serious when we need to get serious and focus on what we need to get done. So I think it's a great mixture of the guys we brought into the program this year. Awesome. Yeah, Terrell Basham said it's been the energy, you know, and you guys have literally shown that on and off the field. You guys can see you guys getting along with each other and everybody's supporting each other on social media and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty awesome to see. Now, let's go to after the game. You know, you have this great game. You're like, you know, amped up right after the game. What do you do? Like, how do you get yourself turned down? Like, do you, are you one of those guys that just falls right to sleep? Or do you have to watch movies for hours? Do you play video games? What time the game start? Uh, let's just do a middle of the road game. Let's do a three o'clock game. Three o'clock game, home or away? Uh, let's do home. All right, three o'clock home. We probably finish around 7.30. So, you know what I mean? I'm vibing up. Around 7.30, I'm probably getting back to the crib, ready to get dressed and go out for the night, to be oh, honest Oh, so you, you have that much energy. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I always say I'm a rookie. Yeah. I, I got to experience it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to enjoy what it feel like to be a rookie. But next year, I probably wouldn't do that, though. I'd probably be watching movies. Yeah. Get ready to go to sleep, wake up the next day for practice. Okay, let's let's do a night game then. I don't know what time you guys get home. Are you already just sleep on the plane? Oh, yeah, I'm knocked out. <laughs> I know y'all saw me. I always carry my blankie and I carry my pillow. So that way I'm sleeping on the flight. I'm sleeping there, back in the hotel. I'm sleeping all the time yeah. on away games. Oh, I couldn't even imagine. So our next question, I actually ask athletes all the time. I asked Randy Gregory first interview when we did this show. Um, if you, or when you retire, if you had, and it's just these two options, to win a Super Bowl but never be named to a Pro Bowl, or five-time Pro Bowler but never win a Super Bowl, which one are you choosing and Super why? Bowl. Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah. I would say just the Super Bowl because Super Bowl, you remember it forever. Like, there's hell, there's hella Pro Bowl players that may be out there, but I might not know them just because of where they at mm -hmm. or, you know, um, just the situation. But you always remember, uh, the Super Bowl for some reason like because yeah. that's just a special moment you hold it forever like anybody can make it to a Pro Bowl but even there's some great players out there that never made it to the Super Bowl or that, never that, even right. won a Super Bowl so I mean that I'd rather have a Super Bowl. All right who is your dream guy that you want to do a jersey swap with? My dream guy? Like what jersey you want to hang up? That's currently or past? We could do past. Past, I would say I would do one with LT, Lawrence Taylor. Ladanian? No, Lawrence oh, Taylor. Oh, Lawrence Taylor. Yeah. Ah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. So, WrestleMania is actually coming to town. If, I mean, you have a, a ton of nicknames you could already choose. If you were a wrestler, what would be your wrestling name and which one of your teammates would be your tag team partner? Ooh, okay. Ah. It would have to be the Terminator. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. My tag team partner would be Osa. Why Osa? Osa, he has a great wrestling background. Yeah, you know I mean, state champ. Uh huh. And I mean, if you ever seen Osa and the way he works, you'd be like, that would be my partner too. That I was telling him, bro, there, there's a little something off about you. You're a little crazy. <laughs> so you need a little bit of crazy in your partner. I need. For sure. I know he'll balance me out. Okay, let's let's go to the swag. What outfits are you guys wearing? Like, what do you think your colors are gonna be? Like, what's your outfit look we like? We gotta go all black, of course. Okay. Because it's gonna be their funeral. Uh, I'll say. Terminator, we have like a little patch. Yeah, something. we could do like some claws yeah. as the lion, like the lion, like, you know what I mean? Um, we're not wearing a spandex. We're gonna have to wear some leg sleeves or some leg tights. Okay. It's gonna be <laughs> athletic wear for sure. Okay. Um, now, if you could choose one song that is going to be your song every time you walk in a room for the rest of your life, like any time Michael Parsons comes in the room, this song starts playing. What song is that for you? Uh, either it's gonna be something by Rod Wave. Ra Who is that? Ra you don't know Rod Wave? No. Oh, <laughs> so we was guessing her age a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spike you up like eight years because you don't no, know the right way. I just listen to old school music. I listen I'm to old, old school, school too, but Rod Wave touched my soul. Okay, sing. Okay, do do a song. Sing a song or rap a song, whatever this Rod Wave person uh, does. I might know the song. So what's gonna be your song then? Uh, it might have to be Thug Motivation or Richer. Yeah. You Richard can't rap by the lyric for me. I can't. I'm more of a like, I gotta hear the song and then I remember the words. I ain't gonna remember. So, off the and top. this song is gonna be your lifetime song and you just can't think of it off the cuff. All right, then I might have to start singing and really start going somewhere else with my direction then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking okay. maybe maybe Ashanti then. Oh, this is your style. This okay. Is Ashanti. Yes. <laughs> Ashanti is my style. See, I did the cool without you. Yep, I'm foolish. Yeah. I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. <laughs> All right, um, two more questions left and we'll get you out of here. So if you had to flee the country, where would you go and why? I'm going to DR. Okay, why would you go to DR? People already think I'm Dominican. Okay, so you just feel like you would fit right in there? I'll fit right in, you know what I mean? Uh, see, I love their country. I've been there before. Uh huh. Spanish women is my thing. Okay, can you speak Spanish? I speak a little bit. Okay. Do, do a little poquito, a little. Okay, okay. Uh, Sail a line. What are you saying to a girl that you meet in the Dominican Republic when you first land? 
Hola, mami. ¿Cómo uh, está? Oh. Uh, <laughs> See, no I can't, games. I can't. I can't pull that out. I, yeah, I mean, I can't. I gotta keep them in the arsenal. I'm, I can't let them all oh, know okay. my lies. Okay, you can't let them know what's coming. Yeah, you okay. know what I mean? Good, good, good point. All right, this final question. So we all have like one celebrity that is like, we want to know what to do if we saw this person. You kind of fanboy or fangirl over. What is that one celebrity for you? If you met this person, you wouldn't even know how to act. Got to be my man Drake. Drake. We got, yeah, we gotta turn it up. Drake or Rod Wave. Yeah. Or, or, here we go for Rodwood. I know who Drake is. See, Drake is my era. Drake is everybody's era. He's been in the game for like the past 20 years, so just, we might have to spike it up a little bit more. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. All right, thank you so much for joining us on First and Ten. Congratulations again on Defensive Player of the Week for the NFC. I'm Bert Johnson. This is Micah Parsons, and I'll see you guys next time.